Hi there, so we've got the Potterton Puma, um, it's also the Combi 80. Uh, we've been having some problems when you turn the water feed off turn the tap off, the boiler continues to try and heat the water which then makes it hiss and gurgle and make a funny odd noise till it locks out. So I'm just going to adjust the pressure switch on the boiler to stop it happening. So let's crack on and see how we get on. First of all we've got to remove the front panel, we've got the drop down flip there and under here we've got one, two mounting screws which then will let us lift the front part off. So the front panel to remove, once we've got the screws out the bottom, you pull the case forward and then lift and the whole thing comes off. So once the front panel's off, we've just got a couple more screws underneath to remove and we can pop out the bottom tray. Okay, now we're in, we just need to take out a screw there and one at the top. Drops down the panel, and we can now see the pressure switch, which is this gazette here. So basically, what happens is when you turn the tap on, the pressure changes, which there's a rubber diaphragm in here, which then pushes the little pin to activate the reed switch, which turns the boiler on and off. If this is just slightly out of adjustment, if you turn the tap off, the hot water tap off slowly. It's too slow to react and the boiler continues to run. We find it worse. The worst thing is when you do the um, the shower, which has got a thermostatic valve on it, uh, and it's too slow sometimes for this to register. So I'm just going to adjust that in slightly, and it should solve the problem. Okay, so we've got the adjustment here. Switch the power off on the boiler because obviously I've got to pull a couple of wires off. So if you just disconnect these three wires, oh, so two wires. <laughs> <laughs> and a blanket, but we're not bothered about that. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna undo this one turn, and then do the lock knock back up on there. And there we go. And with a better lock, that now should take a lot more pressure to fire the boiler. But also, when we lo lose the pressure, it should switch it off quicker. So we'll give that a go. So to demonstrate now, the amount of power pressure that we need coming out of the tap to get the boiler on. Yeah, it's just one. So obviously it's going to more, but when it's down then. There, it's just gone off, so it's still got quite a flow. It's now definitely not going to fire and keep going when the tap's not running, which is what was happening before. So like I was saying earlier, if you pop that screw out of there on the control panel and drop it down, the other problem I did have with this boiler was on the back of this connection here on the board, the main uh, feed, which is obviously the red wire, um, had burnt out and the track in it broken and all it needed was re-soldering. Um, you wouldn't normally get that from your gas man, they would just replace the complete board. But for the sake of like a bit of solder and a, and a little bit of wire, it saved us the expense of a complete new control panel. So every track that had a dry joint or a bad connection, I've now soldered and just put a link wire through. So all we'll do now is pop it all back together again. Just add a little bit of pressure in the system and everything will be fine. So like I was saying, the pressure is a little bit low on the boiler. I'll just put a little bit in, but just to show you what we do, you've got a cold water feed, you'll have the the pipe, these are sometimes disconnected, you've got a non-return valve, and I've got a, a cold water feed, so with it connected up, I open up the non-return valve, turn on the water feed, and watch the gauge just go up, until I'm happy with the pressure, which I'm going to go for just above one. There we go, that's fine, that's just nice. And then just lock that back off again. And if you feel free, you can re remove the, the flexi link from the pipe. Happy? 
happy days. And now we have the boiler all back together again, working perfectly. Thanks for watching.